Hey, good evening everybody. It's uh, been a while, hasn't it? I got sidetracked again while playing this game, but all's good. We're finally back. We're gonna continue. Hopefully we can finish this before Arceus comes out. Not confident though. There's a good chance that... There's a good chance that we do not finish this before Legends Arceus comes out. If that happens, so be it. We'll have to live with it. But still, it'd be, it'd be nice to be able to finish one project before another one starts up, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, this week's gonna be pretty packed. There's a bunch of other stuff that we'll have to cover this week. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty busy and packed. But hopefully we'll have time to play everything that we do want to play. I know it's a very first world problem, having too many games that you want to play, but, you know. Where the heck am I going again? This way? This way, I think. You know what, I actually want to sit here for a moment and appreciate Route 209. Vibing out to that. That's some good stuff. Okay. It has been a while. Let me just double check what's my order like. A man if in front's fine. You know I've been playing too much Monster Hunter because I keep holding down the right shoulder button. As if though I'm trying to run. Oh, you're gonna have a bad time, Bonsley. I need to find new moves, though. It's the boy! Look at him. It's the boy! The little boy. I love him. He is now dead though. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I can chip through this.
Close that. Uh, clo close that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, we can just... Alright. That's convenient. And a lot of fish, thank you. again. You know, I should register a repel to like a shortcut, I think. That I help. Am I out of them? No, there you are. Not register uh, item to the start. I can't. Huh. Oh well. I guess I have to do it manually. stickers I'm gonna have to stock up on those Ourselves another double battle. I think I'm a little ahead of the curve right now. I guess we'll be we'll probably be caught up with the others pretty quickly. Turn order. Uh, 
Ah, we got it. Oh, it's one of these kids. Ah, uh, Pikachu onesie. It's the girl! It's her. I forget in the older games if they literally use the Pikachu Overlord sprite though. Because uh, there's definitely no mistaking. There's definitely no mistaking that kid for a kid now. You know, they don't look like a Pokemon anymore. Also, mood. Mystery Dungeon mood. Tree this time. We do have Swift now, it's another option. So unless they throw like a steel type at me, I think we're still good to go. Yeah, it's a straight up upgrade. For now. Alright, being locked into Swift isn't too bad. We should be able to get through this. Ah, my cunning ingenuity has paid off. Oh, it's the Spiritum Rock. We'll come back to it another time, I guess.
Okay. Let me do a bit of gardening. The instant I walk in. This one, this trainer camping the slope is definitely very horrifying. <laughs> I'll go for the stab first. Yeah, that's probably better. Do you just have four B dupes? Is that what's going on? Is your team four B dupes? It totally is, isn't it? Get a better team, my friend. Is. You have a team of four bidoofs. You're camping the camping the exit to the slope and all you've got to throw at me is four bidoofs. Well I mean I don't blame you, it's bidoof, but still. <laughs> hey Aqua. We have a Vibin and Route 209. I think I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Mansion guy told me his trophy garden is Eevee's, so I'm catching some. Uh, stocking up on uh, the other mascot, eh? Oh. I'm getting off the bike. The bike's unwieldy once you're past some certain areas. The bike sucks in this game. Probably still fast though. The Lost Tower. Oh yeah, they're equivalent to Pokemon Tower. Do Pokemon spawn in here? I forget. Should I put a repel on? Lost Tower. Uh chat. It's not very nice. Do they not? I guess they don't spawn on the first floor. This one, this one on the later floor. I've got trainers. It's just like the Pokemon Tower equivalent, I guess. All right. 
Why does every... Well, I guess it's Japan, but they all have like... Cemetery... Cemetery? Like, uh... What's the word for it? You know, those towers of everyone's ashes? Not really towers. Crematorium? Not crematorium, but, uh... I, f I forget the word for it. They all have... Columbarium, that's what it was, yeah. They all have columbariums, except they're vertical towers instead of, like, flat. I, I guess land is short in, uh... In the Greater Kanto Johto Sinnoh region. Yeah. They all have the towers. Columbarium towers. That's a big word. It's the Delilele Whoop. No, oh, JJ, J626. Thanks for the follow. We are vibing our way through the Columbarium. That's that's the new word we learned today. The place where uh, people go when they pass on. Or at least their ashes. At least I'm assuming those are ashes they stored in there. There's no way that they're burying people uh, or Pokemon at like multiple floors. Right? Doesn't make sense. That it's called the road, it's called the rainbow road, it's the road where you go. <laughs> oh, mask on? One sec. I'm gonna need to keep the keyboard handy for my for my hotkeys. Alrighty. You sure Pokemon spawn in here? I haven't run into any encounters yet. Hello, hello. Stuff's fine. We're vibing. I guess I just got very lucky so far. Took me this long to run into an encounter. The previous two, huh? Okay. Well, in that case, What you got, buddy? Oh, Cleffa. Alright, all the, all the tough guys have like the cute fairies, don't they? This guy? Wait, is it all of them or just this guy? The Roughneck Kirby of a Cleffa. I think I saw some memes about him. Everyone remembers this Roughneck? <laughs> it's the boy. Come on, Drachi, get through it. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Those are some deep lines, man. Wish you all the best. Dude has a Pika t-shirt. Oh. It's this guy. God damn it, that's just me. It's the boy!
Pichu 1C, very cute. You know, we'll have to admit it. Cute? Excuse me, too cute? Not too bad I'm gonna stop murdering them now. It's the boy! I call every Pikachu the boy. And there he goes. Another boy. Three boys. I wonder if they sell their t-shirt. They have to, right? That's like, that's the Pokemon Center's rendition of Pikachu's face, isn't it? Maybe not that exact t-shirt, but probably something that looks very similar to it. This place is just a... ...menagerie of trainer battles. Which is not something you'd imagine waiting for you in the Columbarium, I guess. And yet here we are. We're still kind of blazing through everything. I'm wondering when we... Not that it's a problem, but... You know, restricting to just these three... I think that gets challenging later on, right? But like, from what I remember, Gen 4 has a really weird level curve. Doesn't it? Like, it's not gonna get challenging until like right at the end, and suddenly the difficulty slams up like a brick wall. If I remember correctly. Maybe this is normal. Yeah, two and four. Those, those are the infamous ones. Then again, these guys are just rank and foul trainers, so I guess they're not gonna give us too big a tro uh, too big a challenge overall. We will be blazing through them. I guess the best play, the best way to judge it is to see on the next gym, on the next gym, what what the situation is like. Yeah, they shouldn't. We we'll judge it ba based on the next gym, I guess. Why? Uh, why is there a couple here? <laughs> Otherwise, you're just playing Mega Ten. Yeah, that is not an expression you should be making in the Columbarium, sir. You know what? It would be interesting to play a Pokemon game that played like Mega Ten, though, right? In terms of difficulty. I think that would be interesting. Wait, did I did I swift? Did I just swift? I didn't think about this. It's, it's not gonna work, is it? Yeah. I did not think about that. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, it's a double battle. Let's just use swift. I'm gonna kill it anyway. Doesn't really matter. I think the core battle system will level Mega Ten levels if I'm fair. You know what, that's true. Unless they just up the damage. 
like to a crazy amount. Make it make it like rock attack gameplay. Like you blow them up very quickly, but they blow you up very quickly as well. That's one way they can do it. Right now it's just we blow them up very quickly. In general. But it's one way, I guess. And again, Pokemon at its highest level does get very rock attack, doesn't it? Like in VGC. Thanks for visiting the Columbarium. Here, take this, uh... Oh, was it strength? You get the strength HM. You get the strength HM from the Columbarium? Man, I've forgotten this. Yeah, it would be cumbersome. Okay, we're not missing anything else here. Alright, time to go. Yeah, it might be cumbersome, but you know, it would be interesting to try it at least once, right, I guess. It sounds like it could at least be very... It would make for a lot of stream moments, you know? If you know what I mean. There'll be a lot of like... Heart attack moments, I guess that's the best way to put it. mind me, just casually bringing out two gods. I don't need to deal blow this. This is easy. Easy fight. Question. Uh, is Leftovers an item you can get normally during the campaign or is it like a post game battle tower thing only? Can you buy Leftovers? Okay, so yeah, you can get in the com in the campaign? Alright, sounds good. Yo, can I say though, I love, love the use of saxophone in all these remastered soundtracks. I didn't, I didn't realize Gen 4 was this jazzy. Was Gen 4 always this jazzy? I listen to that. I just need to, I just need you to pause for a second and listen to that, cause like, that is some genuine jazz chords, the drum and everything. This town's theme has always been saxophone. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm talking about in general. Because a lot of stuff in Gen 4, all places have uses a lot of like... It's like, you know, you can hear that, that's jazz drums. Hi-hats and everything. 
hi hats, trills, all that stuff. It's very jazzy. I didn't realize, uh, I didn't realize that this gen's music was like always like this, you know. Not really a musical genre associated with Hokkaido, but yeah. <laughs> So what do you associate with Hokkaido? And <laughs> trumpet span Hoenn. The uh, Hoenn is the land of epic. That's why it's trumpet everywhere. The first two gens were <laughs> the the old games of uh, beeps and boops. Yeah, I think jazz is actually the main view of the music, like, I never noticed, yeah. <laughs> Okinawa is trumpet spam land. But yeah, like, you come in here and like, this is, this is slow jazz Pokemon Center. I can't believe I never picked up on this until now. It's definitely, yeah. Hokkaido is the land of jazz. But yeah, in that case, if it's not jazz, what music do you associate with Hokkaido? And don't say Christmas music. That's too easy. Oh. It's the newspaper. It's Christmas music, isn't it? Bells and piano... Bells and piano and major chords. Christmas music. Uh... There's just a little sight tone, right? A forgotten almost everything about <laughs> Hokkaido is Japan's eternal frozen wasteland. Is it really? It's not- that- that sounds- that doesn't sound right. You're joshing with me, aren't you? I know they're- I know they're like the north part of the archipelago. They're the north part of the archipelago, but... Is it really, like, cold weather all the time? Wait, what is this place? Why is it so ledgy? 70% of Hokkaido's landmass are mountains that are uninhabitable. Yeah, I know it's far. I know it's further up, but still. I don't cave is to the right. Oh. Well, we don't need to visit that then. This is the nursery. Ah, this is the daycare. Well, that's not going to be useful for us right now because we're not catching anything. And there's, uh, there's nothing in Unknown Cave that's uh, required to progress, right? If we're not going in there to catch Unknown, like, there's no there's no key items or anything. Then we're moving on. Uh, after I get a new stock. Yo. Still can only get regular repels. I'll just get uh, enough for now. Okay, chat, listen listen to this. Let's listen to the drummer. Listen to the drummer go in when we come in here. Yeah, he jamming. I don't know if this music is MIDI or, uh... Actually, yeah, it's probably... It's not live performed, right? Like, I think the only... The only Pokemon game with a... With an, with an OST that's live performed is Let's Go. So this isn't a real... This isn't a real player. But still. That is, a uh, Definitely written with jazz in mind, you know? And then that's cool. Actually, I could be wrong. Maybe some of the instruments are live performed?
Alright, uh, another round of bunch of trainers. Sorry, Chad, I don't have a whole lot to talk about when we're just blowing, when we're just blasting our way through. So, yeah, I guess if nothing too much is happening, we're just blowing our way through trainers, we'll turn it into a free talk stream. We can talk about whatever, you know? For example, let's discuss if we are able to finish this before Legends Arceus comes out. <laughs> how many days is it to, to... how many days is it left to its release? I forget. Dang, and Lunar New Year is coming up soon too. I guess we might have a bit of time to play it. Maybe it ends up being as addictive as Monster Hunter and I do like another 6 hour stream or something. I hope the gameplay loops uh, I hope the gameplay loops fun for that game. You know, it does. It definitely looks like it's got the potential to hook me. But the biggest question I have is still like, well, we did see a bit of it, at least like. Why the on foot stuff? What do you mean, not now? Yeah, like, I mean, the on foot stuff when you're just running around, rolling, avoiding the monsters and everything. For the longest time, I was like, what? How does this connect to the gameplay loop of getting into battle and stuff, you know? And uh, I still have questions about it. Because the turn based battle system. And the action RPG stuff, where you just bounce, where you're just moving around and avoiding attacks, they seem like two completely unrelated gameplay systems, loops, you know, interacting there. They're like two different, completely, di two completely different styles of gameplay that don't really have much to do with each other. And I had, for the longest time, I had questions about how exactly they're going to integrate it together. And in the recent gameplay trailer, they did show it off, and I get, I get a little bit more about what they're going for. But I'm still a little curious as to how it's actually executed, because it seems like the action dodging stuff really only comes into play when you're up against uh, the tougher Pokemon. Like the actual event encounters, you know? Like the big ones. For the regular Pokemon, it's just a matter of not startling them, or like, you know, some of them will startle, some of them come to you, all the other stuff. When you're trying to catch something without battling them, maybe. But I feel like uh, the way it was presented, most of the regular Pokemon are either gonna be stealth mechanics, yeah, stealth mechanics were aiming directly at them. I guess, like, Things like Shings and stuff might come towards you and you Yeah, if you're trying to just catch them, that would make sense. You'll be avoiding you'll be avoiding its charge tackles or trying to do a third person shooter, throw the ball at them. It does make sense. But that part's still like, you know It's a separate system, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like you're playing two different games. You're playing one game and then once you get into place once you get into a position where you can actually throw your own Pokemon out. And that's a completely different game, you know, so... I don't know, like, you know, it's just a game, uh, it's just, it's just my game designer side, thinking about it. How is that, how well would these two game say, gameplay systems mesh together, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I can see it working pretty well in the boss battles because, like, you, you have explicit phases, you know, the way it's shown. You have to dodge for a while, you can't just drop your Pokemon on immediately, you have to wait until they're like vulnerable, like in a weakened state, after you calm them down a little bit, and you'll be doing it in phases. Maybe it's just a single phase, and once you get to the battle phase, that's it for the rest of the fight. Maybe they're not, and like, you weaken it a bit, and then the monster like, ejects you back out of the battle, and you have to like, spin around, play the roll around it for a bit, trying to get into the battle again. And like, if it's that kind of situation, then I think the systems mesh a little bit better, so... 
So my question then becomes like, how often is that a thing? Is that the main core gameplay system? Which I have a feeling it's probably not. I think those are like the major, those are like major encounters. But that would also mean that the systems don't interact too much when you're just doing regular assignments. So that's what I'm thinking about. Yo noodles. So I guess that's one of the things I'm looking to see what it's like when you actually get to when, you, when I actually get my hands on the game. You know, like how often do you actually go on expeditions to uh, fight? The actual big encounters where you have to do that kind of gameplay. Because if it's like Monster Hunter, you know, like if the regular fryer likes small monsters and those encounters are the big monsters and the rate of encounter is kind of like that, then that would kind of make sense, I guess, right? But, I'm fe but I have a feeling it's probably not that often. It feels like those encounters are the big climax encounters and maybe you'll have like a couple of them. I don't know, spitballing maybe 10, 20? Maybe it's just 8, like it's a gym. <laughs> that would be a bit sad though, if there was only that many of them. But yeah, how's it going so far with these three? Uh, we are blowing through the game right now, but Gen 4 is kind of a weird learn. It's got a weird level curve, right? I decided to spice things up a bit, because, you know, obviously I've played Gen 4 before, and the game's given me three legendaries. Well, not just legendaries, they're giving me three mythicals this early. And you can actually raise them from like the low levels, so heck it, we never get to do this. Let's play your all mythical team. So things should get more things should get more challenging as we go along. I think. Because you know, we've only got three and we have to build the team around it. I have a plan. I have a plan moveset wise, but yeah. We are definitely going to- we are sticking with this team, and only this team, all the way up to the champion. So yeah, this is the team we will fight Cynthia with. That should at least be pretty interesting, I guess. Right? That should be an interesting challenge. Not quite as ridiculous as, like, uh... Some of the other stuff. But still pretty, uh, but still challenging enough, I guess, you know? Like, moderate amount of challenge. Because they are, they are powerful. These, these three are very powerful, stat-wise. But, you know, we're running with only three of them. And we're not using, uh... We're using set battle styles, so we can't switch between... We can't switch when the CPU switches. But yeah, that's mainly... I think that's the main... The, the biggest thing I'm thinking about when it comes to Legends Arceus that I want to find out. I want to see how the gameplay loop actually feels like. Like, I'm, int I'm intrigued, but I still have questions, you know? Like, how exactly the systems will interact. So we'll look into that. That's, that's what I'm most looking forward to. Other than that, um... Legends Arceus. Definitely music. I'm looking forward to music. I want to see how the music plays out. I have high hopes for it. Pokemon has never let me down as far as like soundtracks go. And uh, getting to hear a very different style would be very, very cool. How oh, is Stunky not dead yet? Uh, die. Disease. Pass out. Psh, wait. I bonked Mew. <laughs> uh, Mew? Alright. That was dumb. I didn't look where I... I literally didn't look where I was aiming. Oof. I'm getting complacent. That's what's happening.
You know, it's weird having a situation where not everyone is a... Uh... It's weird being in a situation where not every NPC wants to fight you. It's just like a random runner NPC up there, minding his own business. I guess this is Hokkaido. Chat, tell me about Hokkaido. What's what's uh, what's unique about there? Winter sports, I guess. You get winter sports. Mountain climbing, I guess. It's Code AF. Is that literally its own? Is that its only feature, really? Agriculture. Hmm. So you go there. You go there to see farms. I just produce some milk and corn in Japan. Oh. So it's the Iowa of Japan, is what you're saying. The regional ramen recipe is buttercorn ramen. I see. Oh hey, I got roost. Alright. I think this is one of the moves I need for my team. What am I putting it on? I'm putting it on Mew. TMs are back to single use, right? TM51. Yeah, it's back to. We're back to single use. Alright, so. The other stuff we want to get is at the Veil. is a Veilstone department store. So. Let's just put this here. this place. Oh, fresh milk area. Hi. Red side dog area. Yeah, Mew, Mew can learn like every TM. Sapporo. Uh, soft serve ice cream, Sapporo. Fall fuse in the summer. I see. But yeah. It's it's basically Japanese Iowa. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm joking by the way. It doesn't it doesn't really sound like Iowa, but like close enough. <laughs> yeah, it does look nasty plot later. Although that's not what we're gonna be specking our uh, that's not what we'll be specking on Mew into. Mew is going to play a very specialized role on this team eventually. But uh, the majority of the TMs we need to set up our full team's uh, strategy is in Veilstone Department Store. So we'll have to get to there before we can buy all of them and then properly set it up. If an anonymous point of Hokkaido, you can see you can see Russia. Huh. The region is cool enough that the aquariums have sea angel exhibits. Huh. Do they really like sea angels that much that every aquarium has a sea angel exhibit? Huh. Also sea angels are cold are cold water creatures, I didn't know that. Japan loves sea angels. Huh. And only Japan, huh? Are they are they like native to the area? 
Oh, do, do they have re are, are they like spread out across the ocean? I'm curious now. We're jumping from topic to topic. You know what? Moo moo milk. But yeah. Now I'm curious about sea angels, like the range. You see, there's more grass in here. Pretty wide geographical coverage. It's fair. hang out in the pelagic zone because it's colder in deep waters. I see. So the ones in captivity, they're just kept in cold water and stuff? What do they eat? In cold places, they actually bob up to the surface. Ah. I need to get more bubble beam PSP. PSP? Wow. I've been playing too much Parker and I'm calling the face shift points now instead of just Pokemon points. A power point. So what does the first P in PP stand for, anyway? Is it Pokemon points? Sea butterflies and other small mollusks. I see. Power points, that's what it was. Microsoft Power Points. Yeah, I can't believe I called it PSP. Uh, I've got too much pocket on the mind. But I guess that's why Manaphy is added in Gen 4, right? Because Hokkaido is where you find all the sea angels. I'll stick with Manaphy in the lead for a bit. if he fits the region. Got ourselves an ether. Man gave me a philosophy lesson and then gave me the technique for it immediately. By the way, in this area, Manaphy is basically invincible. If I had rest. But I don't have rest right now. But if I did have rest, would be invincible. You know, another thing that I thought about that makes Pokemon somewhat easy, but also like it's a probably a genuine part of the gameplay. You can take a very good guess what type of Pokemon a trainer uses by what uh like what they dressed as, you know? Like, for example, you see on the overworld, oh, that's a Karate guy. And you realize, okay, he's probably going to be using Fighting-type Pokemon. And then you bring out a Psychic-type Pokemon and bring it to the front of the team. And then you just sweep through it. I guess that's a genuine part of gameplay because it's sort of like puzzle solving, you know, pattern recognition and whatnot. And the only one you can't guess are the Ace Trainers. Yeah, exactly. But also, that makes it kind of easy, doesn't it? So now I'm thinking, what if, uh... One way, to, one way to make things a little more tricky, I guess. It wouldn't even be that much harder, but definitely be one way, that, one way that they could make it tricky. Is if they gave the trainers, like, multi-type teams. Even, even if they, like, are dressed a certain way. You know? Imagine we're fighting a kung fu dude here and he pulls out, like, Alakazam or something. That would be, like, a bit of a, a mix-up, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that be interesting? Though I guess basically what, what I'm describing there is just a randomizer, right? I'm basically describing randomizer. Hang in there, Jirachi.
I guess basically what I'm thinking of is uh, controlled randomizer. They are, yeah. Good for kids, I guess, yeah. For the stereotyping, the dark type Pokemon is evil. Because they be like that. Oh my god, dude blocked on wake up. What am I gonna do? Yeah, if every train was the same class and use whatever they want, it would be boring after all. So I'm not suggesting totally random teams. Like maybe if they had one Pokemon that was off, uh, that was off meta, I guess you know, just one. If one of the Pokemon was like a mix-up, would that be interesting? Assuming like maybe maybe if we had a theoretical hard mode, right? Theoretical hard mode and. Yeah, if it, in a theoretical hard mode, the trainers all have one mix of Pokemon. I think that might be interesting. Not not like a completely randomized mix of Pokemon, but like, you know, they're, they're just designed to have one of the team members be off meta. Technically, this is off meta, isn't it? Why is Crow Gunk. What type is he again? Poison Fighting? Is he Poison Fighting? Ah, uh, okay, that's why. I've seen I've seen Gunk for so long in Pokken that I've legit forgotten what type he was. He's just Gunk to me. He's just haha -ha funny frog. I suddenly blanked out on like what I blanked out on what type he was. Just from that. So about the we're making a lot of money. Thank you, Amulet Coin. Hmm. You know, I don't know how it happens, but every time somebody turns my mask on, they just leave it on all the way. Do people really like my mask that much? Just drive by, make me put my mask on and then disappear. Nobody's like there's no there's no actual debate about it. Everyone just wants it on. It's a nice mask and all, but you know, I don't have mouth tracking anymore. You can't see my mouth moving. You just get the cat smell. Well, bunny smell, but it, you know it's, it's associated with cats. The tree, the tree smell. Is there a purpose to cutting this tree down? Let's just skip a couple of battles, I guess. Let's just skip one battle. The funny frog with the hardest combos in the game, but also basically no reward for them. Poor Gunk. He's a funny dude. Bottom of tier list, but you know, a funny dude. Haha, <laughs> funny meme pocket. Yeah, 
you do you pull out a Katamari and like suddenly he wins neutral. Did you know his DP is safe only when he has two debuffs? Yeah, that's right. Krogung has the only truly invincible dragon uppercut in the entire game of Falcon. Everyone else has it armored or like red armored, you know? This is the only one where he literally is invincible when he when he punches up. Still unsafe if he, still unsafe if he gets blocked, but you know. Only true DP in the game. And the catch is he has to be double debuffed for it to be truly invincible. If he's normal or buffed, or he only has one debuff. It's not frame 1 invincible. Only when he has double debuffs. Only then. I don't know why he's like that. But everything else about him is... I guess it's because everything else about him is wacky, you know? He's got moves that power up when he's buffed, moves that power up when he's debuffed. Actually no, I don't think any moves of his are powered up when he's buffed. I think it's like when he's debuffed or if the opponent's buffed or debuffed, then some of the things are like different here and there. Oh, this route's all over the place. Is there anything else up there? No, that's just a grass patch. Alright, I still don't need a repel for this area, so we're fine. Double Battle of the Ace Trainers? Okay. We're a little crippled right now. But we'll make do. Right, hey, Veilstone's up next. That means we can get our TMs in. Right? Veilstone's up next? We can finally get into our proper team building instead of just spamming stab moves. Although I am just spamming stab moves right now. I think I'm a little over leveled right now. I think I need to bring Jirachi back in. Man, if he can't attack anymore. Hmm. Yeah. I might just have to deal with it. I think I'm a little ahead of the level curve right now. Who's the gym leader in Veilstone again? I forget. It's been a while. Actually, I've kind of forgotten. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the Gen 4 gym leaders anymore. <laughs> I'll recognize them when I see them. But the, like, the list of 8, I've forgotten. So, correct me if I'm wrong, is Volkner a Gen 4 gym leader? That sounds about right, right? I think Volkner is a gym leader. Okay, Volkner is a gym leader, but I don't remember in which generation. I think Gen 4 sounds about right. Is Volkner the Veilstone gym leader? Guy's putting up screens now. He is Jim Aiden Sinnoh. Okay, so 
I got it partly right. He is a he is a Gen 4 gym leader, but he's not the Veilstone gym leader. Alright, who else is in Gen 4? Hmm. Let me think about it. Ah dang it. I'll, I'll recognize it when I see it, but off the top of my for the life of me, off the top of my head, I can't think of I can't remember. Melin, that's who it is. The fighting type gym leader, right? Melin is the Melin's team is more uh, f a fighting type. That's what it was, right? She uses Lucario. If I'm not wrong. She is one of the many users of Lucario. Jirachi, we want to keep, uh, let's see, wish you turn Zen hit but Thunder Wave, so, yeah, we can get rid of, uh, Confusion, yeah, her and Corina both use Man uh, Lucario, okay, at least I haven't forgotten everything, <laughs> I can still consider myself a Pokemon nerd, even if my recall isn't perfect. Yo, that means we're gonna kind of destroy her with our many psychic types, aren't we? Maylene's gonna go. Maylene's gonna go down super easy. Thought just occurred to me again. Chat, do I have to water the plants if it's raining? I'm pretty sure the rain like moisturizes it, doesn't it? Like the soil. You don't actually need to do we? Celestic town. It's just not raining here either. You still have to water them? Which uh which generation was it then? That uh had them as that you didn't need to water if it was raining, because I remember one of them was the case. Is that a clothes store? Yeah, you know, it's coming back to me, you know. We also know all these weird little protrusions. For some reason. Is that the clothes store? None of them. Is this a clothes store? Ah, heck yeah! Do you know what time it is, chat? It is fashion time, be Oh, Right off the bat, first thing it lands on. First thing it lands on. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho ho. Alright, we'll at least take a quick casual window shop look on everything else, but... Yo, y'all know me. Y'all know me. The first word is already a, the first word is already a plus. The second word is a, is also a plus. Yo, that's actually kind of cute too, though. Oh, well, do you just sell complete outfits, huh? You don't get to mix and match. This actually this 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 one do be kind of cute too, though. Wow. Well, this is cute too, though. Kinda has an Ainu feel to it, doesn't it? This one's cute too. Yo, I actually really like this one. This one's really nice. You're wearing the winter one right now? Uh, I can definitely see why. This is how I dressed. This one is how I dressed in Sword and Shield. Oh yeah. You you know you know for sure I'm getting I'm I'm getting this one. Oh 
Oh wait, I had the platinum style too. The pre-order bonus. Actual Hokkaido clothes. Okay. Was there a hairdresser? I don't actually know how much uh, customization there is. Also, hang on. Why is the clothing store's theme? Why is the clothing store's theme um, a Eurobeat version of? I know this song. It's it's a Gen One song. I forget what it is though. Where was it used? Oh, it's the Game Corner! Yeah, that's the Gen 1 Game Corner's theme. This used to be where the Game Corner is, that's why. It's a Eurobeat remix of it, though. It's a little too high energy for what usually plays in the department store, I think, but you know, it fits. Alright, um, so yeah, we can't- I'm assuming we can't mix and match costumes, it's just this, uh, it's just complete costumes at a time. Right? Do we have hairstyles too, or or no? Do we have hairstyles or nay? Oh, hairstyles no. Okay. They just uh, they just give us a couple of outfit changes, which I'm fine with. You know, the original game wasn't like this either. They kind of just gave us they gave us a couple of like clothing options, and that's about it. I like this though. I want this I want this hoodie in real life. The outfits do look legit, yeah. Hmm? What was that? Was that a spam message chat? I didn't even get to see it. Giraffe Rig. I got a metronome. Hurrah. Oh hey look, there's this more Jirachis down here. You're saying hi, oh. Jirachi is basically a meteor. <laughs> it's level 96 mouse cursor, so fair. Alright, that's fair. I think this is where you change your Deoxys forms, right? Is Deoxys in this game? Deoxys' is data is in this game, I assume, right? If I remember correctly, this is where the this is where you change the forms. If I'm not wrong. Is that the Pokemon Center? Yeah, there you go. I need to heal. And then we gotta go shopping in a department center. Yeah, the girls always get the cuter outfits than the guys, you know, it's hard. This is why I always end up playing the female trainer, they just have better fashion. It's, it's not fair. It thoroughly isn't fair. Though, okay, we got, we got a lot of pretty good fashion in... In Sword and Shield, you know, I, I can't complain about what I was given in Sword and Shield. Yeah, so the access data is in the game, you just can't get it legitimately right now. When home comes in later. Bun! Banui! Banui! Mm hmm. But yeah, so I guess, if I remember correctly, then. that's the meteors for the Deoxys forms. They go team, team galactic, team galactic building. Where's the department store? Wait, did he take over the department store? I, I forgot it. No, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, finally, we're gonna go TM shopping. God, that little drum, the little drum lead-in is so good. It's just a good time, you know, you start vibing to it. Hey, we got super repels now. I should probably start stocking up on them. I'll buy, I'll buy my TMs first and then we'll come back. 
And then we'll see how much money that we have left. We'll stock up on the remaining ones. Which floor are the TMs on? Yeah, what are you doing? Grand Underground? Shiny hunting? <laughs> Chat, you want a Christmas music, right? You want a Christmas music? Th those ending chords there are 100% Christmas chords. <laughs> dun, 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 that one. Oh, it's a hundred percent, hundred percent challenge, huh? Like in each region, I see. Well, some of the level one, the level up ones, uh, prob it's probably gonna be a lot of grinding, though, isn't it? I need the directory. Is there a directory in here? What floor are the TMs on? The counter app. Ha! Over the counter. Okay. Here's where we get the stat boosters. Here's the battle items. Music's good vibes, so... TMs? Hey, there we go. Alright, let me pull up my shopping list. Which ones do we need? Alright, we need U-turn. There's U-turn. Um, we need Ice Beam. The other one? There we go. Okay. We can finally set this up. Was it re auto salted? I'm gonna put U-turn on Jirachi. And we're gonna be getting rid of... Swift. Yeah, let's get rid of Swift now. Then we need T-Wave. Chat, where's the- what's the battle park? Is that post-game? Ice beam, ice beam, ice beam, ice beam, ice beam, ice beam. All right. So if a TM is battle park only, that means we can't get it during the campaign. Is that what it is? All right. BP for TMs. Ah. Okay. So if it's battle park only, we can't get it. Unless you trade one to me. Ha. Huh. I guess that is. That is one way, isn't it? It's kind of cheating, but, you know. Okay, because the only ones were... The ones that we're looking for are Will, Wisp, and T-Wave, but honestly, we don't need it that bad. Those are just bonuses. The core of the... The core of the team is still here regardless, so... Tail Glow... Yeah, we'll have to get Surf later. I need Will, Wisp, and T-Wave. But honestly, yeah, I don't need them that bad. They're like, they're really just bonuses, you know? Zakanator, thanks for the follow. Like, it's it's just campaign, you know? I can find something else to stick on there. They're just bonuses for, like, the core of the team, the core of the team is still gonna be in place. I'll replace, uh, Bubble Beam with Surf later on. 
Honestly, I feel like... It's just the V1. Alright, one sec. Stuff's happening. Where's my old model? There it is. Hey. Uh, back in the old all black. It's a fun time. But yeah, uh, honestly trading in post-game TMs feels a little like cheating. I kind of want to do it as much as possible with just single player stuff, like during the campaign. So yeah, it's not that big a deal. We can leave it. I'll find something else to put on the, the team list. Alright, we also need rest. I think I saw Volt switch down there too. I'm not wrong. Okay, no, not Volt switch in this list, but did I have a Volt switch TM? I think I saw it. What's my favorite Pokemon? Y'all gonna think me I'm y'all gonna think I'm super basic for saying this. But it's Pikachu. <laughs> eh. Alright. That's that's a fair. That's a fair assessment. Oh, we do have a vote switch TM. Alright. Wait, did I already put vote switch on? Where did we get vote switch from? I don't actually remember. Yeah. I'm using I'm using Aqua Savior Pokemon right now. But did I pick up this Volt Switch? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Reflect Type Amnesia, Roost. Okay, so Roost is staying. Volt Switch. I guess I can just put an attacking move on... I can put an attacking, an additional attacking move on Mew and Jirachi at this point. If I'm not putting on the statusing moves. So we're good. We're good on that end. Let's just put Volt Switch on. Alright, I think uh, that's the majority of our team setup now. I got Volt Switch in Eminty Square. Oh, that's where I got it. Alright. So here's the other question. The last thing, the last piece I need for my team core is Rain Dance, and that's in Route 223. How far ahead is that? Because we won't be able to, you know, we won't be able to use, uh, we won't be able to abuse Manaphy until we get that. That's the last key. That's the last key, uh, that we're missing for our team, for our team loadout. On route to Gym 4. So, pretty close then. Underground stuff here. You need 10 blue shots to exchange for it. Where do I see my shots? Oh, there they are. I need to farm on the ground for a bit. Hmm. I've got green and yellow. But I guess I'll need to sh farm a couple of the other stuff. That's weird, I'm pretty sure I had some others. Unless I exchanged them for something and I don't remember. It shouldn't take too long though. Maybe we'll just play the underground for a bit. Wait, so Veilstone. Veilstone is Gym Tree. 
Huh. Somehow it felt longer. Two buff guys standing side by side, that's all. Sticky... I don't want to think about what that is that's implying and frankly... Let's just move along. Oh. There was a... there was a directory. Huh. Veil Stone is Gym 4 Half Home is Gym 3 in Platinum. Uh. Oh, was that the thing you were complaining? Was that the thing you were complaining about the last time? Oh, we're not really complaining about, just making fun of. Alright, let's see how much money we have left, and uh... He was. Eh. You know what, I've got a cool hoodie now, so I don't even care. How much money we got? We've got a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Max repels are seven dollars. I can buy a hundred and seventy. I think that all the last does the rest of the game more than it. <laughs> all right, we probably don't need that many. Uh. Let's get around 100. Around 100 max repels. That should last us the rest of the game. Right? I think max repels last for like a lot longer, right? Stepwise. I should probably double check again. Or, you know what, chat. Chat, help me look it up. What's the difference between the repels? Like, does the max repel like last for a longer number of steps? Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think they all do the same thing. Like, if your Pokemon is higher level than the wild Pokemon, you just don't get encounters. And the difference is in the number of steps you get before it wears out. I can't get that thing until I get rock climb, it seems. What is this tree? Oh, it's just a town sign. <laughs> hey! It's you know who. Galactic warehouse. No trespassing. What if but but what if? What if I just <laughs> no? I guess not. Okay, what say you we do the gym then? Yeah, what say you we do the gym? I think we're ready. We've got our team locked and loaded. Things ought to be good. I don't know if uh, Lucas over here wants to take a battle. Oh wait, no, he's he's not a battler. I forget. He's just a lab assistant. Lucas, did you notice? Look at me. I've got drip now. Oh yeah, this thing. It's just a maze. It's amazing. Alright chat, we're gonna be settling in again. Probably not gonna be too much to talk about, we'll, we'll just be sweeping our way through the trainers. Yo, I look cute though! Look at that! Look at that hoodie! I want that hoodie IRL! Did he make that hoodie IRL? I wanna, I wanna buy it.
Look at me, I have team pivots now. Whoa, knockoff though. Oh, I didn't actually have anything on on Jirachi this time. You know, this gym's actually not that much lower level than what I am right now. Heck yeah, I like changing the character. We've already played the game once in the old DS games where you only have one outfit. I'm doing things this time round with a little change of pace. Alright, watch me use my pivots. VGC style. Shall we do vote switch? Let's do vote switch. Did I say vote? Did I say vote switch? I'm in vote turn. Look at me throwing off VGC, VGC tactics, VGC tactics on the CPU. Why not? You know why the heck not? Although I guess it would be it would be faster if I just put Jirachi in the front. But yeah, I should probably just... I just, uh... Just favorite it. There you go. Make it a little easier to pick up. I'll just fight every trainer in the gym. Why not? If they don't make that hoodie IRL, it's gonna be a bit of a waste. I want that. I would I would pay good money for that. Just make it like tall tall guy size and I'll totally buy it. Zen Headbutt has the flinch chance, right? So I'm already using Serene Grace. I'm already using Serene Grace flinch, uh, flinch hacksing on the AI. All right, I might, I might have too much power. I might currently have too much power. Become too powerful, and I have also used up on my water. I guess I'll just put a steel type stab move on Jirachi and call it a day. Eventually. To replace uh, Wish or something. Or I could just leave Life Deal on. Get double healing in there. Actually, leaving Life Deal might be. Like, we don't have too many double battles, I think. Important double battles, right? Chad, are there any gym leaders that force double battles? I don't think so, right? There was only, like, I don't know if Tate and Eliza have any equivalent on this one. Oh, right, this is the puzzle. I think that's all the trainers already though, right? There's only four trainers in this gym. Alright. That wouldn't take too long. It's faster than I remembered. I guess life heal is just a good personal heal as well. But probably most useful if we do end up doing double battles that are plot important. 
Keep Jirachi as a dedicated team healer. I could work with that. Twenty-nine, twenty-nine, thirty. Ancient power. Mm. Eh, let's just get rid of pound for now. Pounds, pounds, whack. Ancient power isn't that much better, but you know, for now, better, better than nothing. Yeah, that's all the trainers. Let's pop back out to the PC to get a heal. Uh, excuse me? Wow, okay. There's a bit of the unity jank. <laughs> Just a little bit though. the most of the bad ones really yeah this is a friendship increaser right massage the egg massage egg all right i know Arco would probably want this so This guy just randomly has our TMs for us. What's which one is? Oh, it's nasty plot. Oh. So yeah, the reason why we're not gonna bother with bait and pass nasty plot is because our main attacker is Manaphy, and Manaphy already has Tail Glow, so we don't need to set up into her. We just need to power her up. And, uh, we just need to set up rain for her, and then she's gonna wreck. You know, in general. Alright, time to solve this puzzle. I'm leaving Mew behind. Mew, keep up! I guess if it gets slightly misaligned, like this, and start walking, you'll be off grid. I guess there's multiple solutions to this puzzle. Well, I need to look a little closer, I guess. It's been a while. You know, since I did this one.
Need to get through there, so... Uh, so, so, so. Do that. Do that. Do this. So to start that one in. So we weren't done there. Man, the floor is so shiny though. You ever notice that? do is get to that ending did I just soft lock myself hmm. hang on oh no we didn't I guess we would have ended up having to fight all of them anyway, unless he was super careful. Alright, that was a fun little puzzle. I actually had to think a little bit for that one. Alright, here we go then. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. You're right in my face. <laughs> Mood. I don't know. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I even ended up being the gym leader. What the hell am I doing here? Big mood. Biggest mood. You ever end up in that situation? You know, like, how the hell am I here? Who decided I was qualified? Alright then, time to flinch hex everybody to death. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, actually we're still on the level curve decently, right? We're not that far ahead. Oh no, 90% accuracy! It's okay, Zen, Zen hitbot's physical. Oh, uh, or you just die from it. Eh. You wanna know my secret? I also have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna murder everything in here. Well, at least once she brings up the Lucario, that's gonna not be super effective, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, we still have that 60% chance to flinch, so... This isn't the end, my friend. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry about it. It's the furry! It's the furry bait. The big furry bait. Bonk. No flinch? No flinch this time. Then headbutt is the flinch move, right? Yeah, it's the flinch move. Woo woo. Bonk. Aha! Oh shit, I forgot! Uh. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a bind, aren't I? I thought she was about to say something about <laughs> me triggering that. I forgot. 
Chad, I forgot. Am I gonna get outspat now? I might be I might be getting outspat here. Also, I don't know what held item he's using. If I flinch him, if I flinch him again, he's gonna get even faster. Oh, he already outspeeds me. Oof. Uh, might be problem. Might might have problem. <laughs> Chat, my 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 flinch my flinch strategy may not have been the cleverest thing. <laughs> wow, I can't believe the CPU outsmarted my outsmarting. All right, uh, let's throw. Let's throw the strategy in there. Oof. Yeah, I I'm bailing. This is bad. This is bad. Chat, does U turn have increased priority? U turn. You know what? I'll play it safe. U turn probably doesn't have increased priority, does it? What do we want to use? Uh, okay, let's just go with Old Faithful. I set up a wish so I'll tank. I'll tank whatever hit Lucario hits on me when I come in. Wow, I I actually got outsmarted by the CPU. <laughs> steadfast boost. In, steadfast boost into super effective stab on my Jirachi. Oh, that's fine. I've got backups. He is now at three, plus three attack. Yes, don't don't worry about it. D don't don't worry about it. I'm at plus three. I am also at plus three. Don't worry about it. Shit. Uh. Crap. Uh, do something, Mew. Mew, do something. <laughs> the moment he screeches, I'm finished. D d don't worry about it. I've got heals. I guess. Give me a stat boost, please. No stat boost? Oof. Uh. Alright, if he's gonna keep trying to do that... Vote turn time! Yeah, he's at plus one. He's at plus one speed and plus three attack. Um... Plus one speed, plus one defense, plus three attack. Oof. I'm vote turning. I got lucky there. I should have probably used life to you there, shouldn't I? Alright. Vote vote turn call to victory, I guess. Go ahead and screech me again. Oh wow, I am cheesing this. I am cheesing this at the power of friendship. We might still win this. Don't worry about it. Power of friendship! Another one? Uh oh. I should have. I should have just gone for the wish. I should have just gone for the wish, damn it. Now I'm gonna have to RNG my way into a couple more vote switches. Alright, Mew's doing alright so far. Power of friendship very strong. I'm not that Omega screwed. Not not yet. Wait, Manaphy has my shell bell. Damn it! All right, 
I'm going to take a risk. I'm gonna take a risk and hope that you... Never mind. You didn't screech me. I can't believe... I can't believe my flinch hacks <laughs> worked against me. I forgot he had steadfast. Because what Lucario runs steadfast? Good lord. Oh, he's screeching me. I am... Oh, I, I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in legit trouble. Oh. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my! <laughs> I got my ass handed to me! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Let's pretend that never happened. Oh my god. That was... That was entirely the wrong choice. I should not have flinched him. I should not have flinched him. Oh my god. I can't believe I got my petard hoisted badly. I was like, ha ha ha. Stab flinch hexes. And then he outsped me. And then everything went horribly, horribly wrong because I gave him a speed boost. Oh dear. <laughs> yep. The gym leader's like, okay, I'm not that over level. Like, it's not, it's, see, I was worried about being over level. I'm happy that I'm not. I'm happy that just me just fighting the gym, me just fighting trainers and nothing else, means I'm on the level curve still. You know? You know what I need? I need a way to clear stat, stat boost. Is there haze or something available to me? I could probably put it on Mew. Something that resets stat boost. Alright. Do not use flinch hacks on, on Luke. Yeah, just don't flinch him. I'll outspeed him comfortably if I don't flinch him. As long as I don't flinch him. I'm gonna I'm gonna U-turn out of it. Alright, we're gonna wish. We're gonna U turn out. You turn out into Manaphy. Ah, he squeezed me. Oof. Okay, yeah, he's setting up. I mistimed the wish. I mistimed the wish. Oh well, Togo. I still outspeed him, so if I don't flinch him, I outspeed him. Okay. We're fine, don't worry about it. Oh good lord, he's, he's really setting up though. Should I go for plus six or just try and kill him now? Hmm, after stab, I think Bubble Beam does more, right? Stab is 1.5. So that's 90, that's 90 something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bubble Beam does more than Ice Beam. Alright. Die! Okay, we're fine. And still resist ice, yeah. Okay, we're safe. Wow, 
I, I let that get way out of control the first time round. All because I forgot about Steadfast. You know what, that's fair. My badges need polishing. I can't believe I got juked by the Fury. Yeah. I, I thought I escaped that nightmare from Parkin, but it followed me here. Oh, we got, and, and we get fast travel now. You got fast travel. All right. You know what? <laughs> Gee, I'm hungry. Sorry to say anything. The number of ums she's put in there. That's that's big mood. That's how I talk, all the time. Now you see what I mean here? This is some unity jank. Excuse me? I can't go up by this side, but this side's fine? It looked like the gap was big enough. It's just a... Uh, but it's just... The grid system looking a bit weird, you know? But I guess that technically looks like it's closed off. If you really look at it in terms of the grid, but... It looks like there's a space you can run through. Alright. Team Galactic stole your Pokedex! Oof. That's a big goof, Lucas. Hmm. It's nice and all, but I guess we'll have to help you in the next session. Sorry, Lucas. Your Pokedex is gonna have to wait. Let me just drop into the Pokemon Center for a second. Sup? Lots of people showing up for the first time in chat today. As we chill. God, I still can't believe Melee juked me like that. Ah, that was embarrassing. I'm definitely putting that clip up on YouTube. This is why, this is why I did this challenge, so I can sometimes get juked like that, you know? There's def- you know? It definitely makes this playthrough more memorable because I sometimes <laughs> get completely wrecked by the computer like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're gonna have to call it at that for today. Let me see if there's anybody... Let's see if anybody's on that I can read. There's a couple of people. Hmm. I guess we're right figgy today. Let's end the favor. Yo, Nunes746. Thanks for the follow. Sorry you came in at like right at the end of the stream. I, I just wrapped up. We beat the gym. Next session we'll go ahead and beat up the Galactic Warehouse. Should be a fun time. I also go farm some blue shards in the underground so we can get rain dance and finally get invincible invincible manaphy. But yeah. I'm gonna call it a death for tonight. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh and I'll see you guys around soon. Have a good one. <laughs>